Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set a signature for your cPanel email. So let's just get right into it. So first of all, you're going to want to go to, of course, cPanel. Then you're going to find email accounts. So then go into that and then find the email that you want to set the signature for. So for me, this is pebbleadmin2 at strangestand.xyz. We're then going to click check email and then we're simply just going to open our email inbox. Once you're in, it should look something like this. Then on the left, we're going to go to settings and then to identities. Here, you're then going to select your identity and then this should show up on the right hand side. Now, as you can see at the bottom, we have the signature tab down here. Now, of course, what you can do is simply just type in a signature. So if I put my signature as Stanley S, I can then click save. And then if we did go to write an email, you can see that it automatically puts Stanley S at the bottom. However, this is extremely boring. However, if you click this image icon up here, this pop-up may come up, which you're going to click OK. And this takes us into the HTML interface, where you can change the font, you can change the size, you can change even the alignment, you can underline it, make it italics, make it bold, and even do stuff like change the colour. So they have now turned it to red with an underline, italics, and it's also bold. And we're also going to change the font to Arial Black, so there we go. You can even do stuff like highlights as well, so if we picked a yellow, it means the background will be filled by a yellow font. If you want special characters in your signature, you can also click this symbol here. And this will let you search for special characters, like different currencies, different symbols like the copyright symbol, and of course, loads of other things as well. So there we go, I've now made it Stanley S with a diamond and also a little 2. You can also just add lines in if you click horizontal line, as you see it will make a sort of break. And you can put something down here, for example your job role, so I've just put project manager. And of course you can select these and change them independently from the rest of the text as well. You can also add links, as well as remove them once you've added them. But the final thing I'm going to show you is actually how to add an image. So let's say you didn't want your signature to just be some simple text. If you were to go to a website like this one, if we then pick type your signature, you can then type in what you want to write. So if I put in Stanley S, there's then a selection of different ones we can pick from. So of course you can choose the font you want. You can also change it from handwriting to sans serif, as well as also changing the color as well. So I'm going to select this one and we'll just click download signature. So first of all, I'm just going to remove all of this stuff here, as I only want the signature to have the image. So if we then select insert image, we're then going to click this upload icon here, then add image, then of course find your image, and then we're just going to click on it here. And then as you can see, it has selected it. You can then change the width and height if you want to as well. I'm just going to change it to these dimensions, and then we'll click save. So now as you can see, it has added our signature. However, if you want to, you can still add lines like this, and of course you can put a row or any extra information you want. Once you're done and you're happy with it, simply click save. And now if we go to compose an email, you can see that it's not actually worked. Now the fix for this is extremely simple. Just like how we did in the signature menu, we're going to click this HTML icon. We'll then get a dialog box where we'll click OK. And as you can see, it's now been moved to the HTML layout. So now we can go ahead and write our email. So once you've written your email, go ahead and click send. And as you can see here, we have received the email with the text I have written, with the formatting and also our signature, as well as the line and also the title. So that is how you can set a signature with cPanel. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.